What's up, bitches? We're back home. I'm McStud. I miss this McStud. Yeah, I didn't get a last night's video uploaded till later this evening. So if you guys saw that, it wasn't from today. That was from last night. We were in Angola, and the Wi-Fi at the hotel sucked a bag of dicks. <laughs> and also, we got a shit signal. Yeah. <laughs> and my upload time ranged anywhere from an hour to uh, 56 hours at times. <laughs> so I was just like... Fuck it. And actually, I didn't even get all my uh, Facebook notifications. Really? Until I actually got home. Oh. And looked at them like, it was the same thing it was, like, at the hotel. Oh. It's like, oh, I miss this, 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 and this. I'm like, okay, cool. Great. But Angola was nice. It was quiet. Yeah. Country little town. Good times. Anyways, tonight is Malt Liquor Sunday Night Football. And boy, what a week it's been for football teams. <laughs> Our weekly picks are completely obliterated. Completely. We picked all the opposite teams. I think as of right now, we both have two, maybe three teams. I have two. Each, right? Oh, yeah, I have two. I have Thursday nights and the Packers. Yeah, I got Thursday nights, and I got the Jets and the Packers, so I got three. <sighs> Every fucking team that was supposed to win... <laughs> Lost. We've not had the a horrible Saints week like this. Lose. Adam Vinatieri misses his eleventh kick of the season. Fuck. The Colts done. The Giants down. Which I mean, it's really no surprise. That was like an up in the air game anyway. I just picked the Jets, but I put one point on a bitch. Malt liquor. <sighs> yeah, it's been one of those days. Now, last time you seen us. The pizza had just arrived at the hotel room. And I didn't want to keep him waiting, so I answered the door just like, just like this. <laughs> like, and he sorry. was trying not to giggle. I'm like, sorry, <laughs> we do YouTube videos. <laughs> it was some younger dude. He didn't give a shit. He's probably like, oh, wow, that's probably the most exciting stop of the evening for him. Yeah. <laughs> then we woke up, and we had a nice, uh, had to leave by 11, checkout time, and then he drove home. What well, we have, uh... Um, for lunch? Oh, we had a Chili's for lunch. Yeah, I was trying to think of what we ate beforehand. Now we stopped at this uh, Flying J that had a Cinnabon in it. It's like right there talking, when you walk in, too. And I haven't seen amazing. a Cinnabon since uh, an airport. And way before <laughs> right. that, when I was young, there was some in Dayton when I used to go stay with my uncle. Really? Yeah, because used to, I think they he used, used to like, like their own stores and shit. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm hmm. You got we're, me super close to so you. Keep elbowing. But we're kind of this amazed. <laughs> we're kind of amazed about the cinnamon. You walk in, it, it smelled really good. Uh, I'm not a big cinnamon I'm bun person, but as we're walking out, everyone else is walking in like, is that really cinnamon? <laughs> Some dips in this smells fire. I'm like, listen here, you little frat boy. <laughs> Fuck out of here. But yeah, long road trip, a lot of driving. Good times though. Good weekend. Yeah. Really good weekend with this mixed dad. We well, like to just drive and stop wherever we want. I do enjoy road trips with no, like, time constraints, you know. Got a pee, so I get pulled over. <laughs> Find an exit. We're in no hurry. And sometimes we see stuff and we just want to drive off the exit and see. Like, what the fuck is that? Let's we go see We stopped at a beer, a liquor store, too. What? Corks Gaze? and Caps? Oh, Caps, uh, and, caps corks. and Corks and Caps or some shit. Yeah. That was in Fort Wayne. Um, but there was no malt liquor. They did have malt liquor. They had Mickey's and Colt 45, and that's oh, where we got did, the... Yeah. We got the six pack, then we stopped at Gay's later and got some other shit just for the night. But they disappointed me. Mm hmm. Because I didn't have my banana nut. Apparently, no one does anymore, which is crazy. But that's okay. Let's see, you already got ESPN pulled up. Miss McStud's been on the scores since the game started while we were in the car. <laughs> and we had shit signal, which was crazy. But let's start off. Yeah. Gotta get comfortable. Because Here, that's all. I can't figure this out, though. Oh, Lord Jesus. No wait too long. No. Don't wait too long. Oof! <laughs> that's not fair. What? Don't wait. Did you see her at? Oof! <laughs> she totally oofed me. I didn't want you to tell me. Oh, well, I just figured you, you needed help. What do you want to do? They usually give me hints. Oh, there was no hint for don't. Sorry. But you did good. You had it on notice. It was just one of those things you got to switch around. 
No biggie. Biggie Smalls. No. <sighs> All right, so gotta get comfortable because every game that ended today, we were just like, seriously, fuck, damn it, what the <laughs> hell? <sighs> Bears and Lions. You know, that was one of those up in the air games. They had a low Wait, score on them. I forget who I picked on that one. Actually, I might have four right. I have to double check. I can't remember who I picked either, but I had a low score. But the Bears beat the Lions twenty to thirteen. Actually, Matthew Stafford, their quarterback for mm -hmm. the Lions, had broken bones in his back, so he's out. Oof. Yeah, pretty fucked up. Not How do you cool. get those? I'm not sure. I think you already had, like, last week, maybe. Oh. Um, but I just read about it today. Ravens and Bengals. We picked the Ravens. Oh, I forgot we both had the Ravens right. Maybe we got a few more games right than we thought. I don't know. You told me that. Oh, I don't know. Fuck it. I thought you were keeping track of them. The Ravens beat the bejesus out of the Bengals, 49 to 13. Oh, the Ravens I had 14 on. Mm-hmm. Their quarterback, Lamar Jackson, I think it's Jackson, had a 47-yard touchdown run. The quarterback. Hmm. And he had his second perfect QB rating of the season. He's like the second player ever to do it in two seasons. Ravens? Yeah, the quarterback. He done it last season twice wow. and this season twice. Um, so he's uh, doing really well. Well, they have to do something with Adam and Terry or I'm going to have to stop watching him. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll get to that. We're, we'll get to that. Because I'm pretty angry and frustrated about it. Next, the Bills and the Browns. And this is where I, like I've said all season, like I kind of gave up on the Browns. You know, we're both expecting them to do better. You never know what Browns team you're going to get. And I didn't get to watch the game. I don't know if the Bills just didn't show up or the Browns actually played well. But the Browns had a touchdown at the end of the game that put them ahead, I believe. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I was trying to watch that one, and that's when my internet went out. I was shitty. So the Browns beat the Bills 19-16, to which I did not see that coming. Like, the Browns just have not... Stepped it up. It's crazy. <laughs> Chiefs and Titans. That one really fucked me too because my homes come back this week. It's like, oh, they're going to beat the Titans. Wrong. The Titans beat the Chiefs 32 35. And I think the mm -hmm. Chiefs even had a chance to come back at the end of that. <clears throat> Next one, I, pretty much the biggest upset of the week Falcons and Saints. The Saints lost 26 9. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that game. Well, nothing happened with the Saints because they just didn't play. I mean, seriously. Usually you can bank on Drew Brees. And even when he was out, you could bank on Teddy Bridgewater. Like, the Saints are always a solid team. They just fucking lost it against the goddamn Falcons. Seriously. Giants and Jets. I mean, the Jets play like a bunch of, like, they play like the, that movie The Replacements. Like a bunch of turds. It's fucking crazy. But the Jets beat the Giants 27-34. And that didn't really surprise me because they both suck. And I thought it'd be one of those. I think that might have been a game. I said it's gonna be a game of like a dumb loser game. Yeah, you said it was like, gonna be like a close game of of, of dumb of shit. Losing, yeah, yeah, losing, <laughs> and it really was. It's stupid. <laughs> uh, Cardinals and Buccaneers. I believe we got that game too. I picked the Bucks. I picked the Bucks. Buccaneers beat the Cardinals twenty-seven to thirty, but it was closer than I anticipated because as the day went on, I'm like, fuck me, fuck me, and fuck me. Yes. Dolphins and Colts. Here we go. We get into the Colts. Um, I don't know if that extra point would have made a big difference. I mean, it would have been within three, but they did not score. But they got T.Y. Hilton now and Brissett. Uh, they're giving another week off. And Hoyer, I don't know, he made some good throws there in the fourth. Did he? Well, on that, that, that last drive before they didn't go anywhere. But uh, they, they said... They, how do the Colts lose to the Dolphins? They, that's exactly right. But they said that that Hoyer got within the last two weeks. We've had some crazy fucking number of interceptions thrown. Mm -hmm. I can't fucking remember how many it was, but I was like, "What the fuck? Was it six? I don't know. Eleven? It was something crazy. Like I was A like, how amount. in the fuck? Yeah, I don't even know. I didn't catch that. But that's nuts." That's too many interceptions. And, and we lose against the Dolphins. Like, I almost can't watch them right now. Like, they have to get... I, I can't blame everything on Adam. But, I mean, we can't even depend on him to make an after... We can't even depend on him to make it a point. The let alone a fucking field goal. And the other, the other problem with this, on top of Adam, is they're missing two top players. A receiver and a fucking quarterback. But we should still be able to hold our own. I agree. I agree, and you know, uh, Marlon Mack, 
I don't know how he did. Let me, let me check. He was stats. really. Marlon Mack played good, and so did Ebron, actually. Yeah, he Ebron didn't have like a, a whole bunch of e better fingers. Tonight. Ebron's doing good this season. Like that was the big bitch we had the last two seasons. Like he can't catch, but he's, he's a Pro Bowl. Fingers. He's a Pro Bowl tight end, but he can't catch the fucking ball. Every time you see him, he's like dropping it. <laughs> it it's really ridiculous. Let's Marlon see. Mack just couldn't get. Anywhere. Okay, so beat Brian, whatever his name is Hoyer, <laughs> two hundred four yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions. That's horrible. Yeah. Mack had 19 carries for 74 yards. And Ebron had the most rece receiving yards. Mm -hmm. He had five catches for 56 yards. That's, that, wow. I mean, when, like, when your tight end leads the uh, receiving yards, <laughs> and it's only at 56, I mean, that should be what he had on a general game with the receivers, you know, like T.Y. could have had like 90-some yards, whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty, pretty... Oh, and uh, Mac fumbled once. No, wait, wait. Hoyer fumbled once. Yeah. Mac recovered a fumble, and some K Moore the second recovered a fumble. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it must have been six, like three interceptions last game, and then three this game, or something. But I'm not impressed with them right now. Hey, I'm happy. I'm happy because I know the Raiders are going to have a victory next weekend. Isn't that a Dolphin? <laughs> Bengals. Okay, I was like, well, don't underestimate the Dolphins, because the Colts, though, they should beat them fucking Dolphins. Hold on, let me get to the standings, because if the Raiders beat the Bengals, which are 0-9, <laughs> which I hope they do, um, right now Kansas City's ahead in the division, 6-4. Mm -hmm. uh, the Raiders are 5-4, and four, so the Kansas City's had one more game. They haven't had their bye week yet. Um, okay. But that'll put them... You know, the Raiders and Chiefs running. are competing for that. Well, yeah. if the Chiefs play like they played today. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's happening with the Chiefs. Kind of crazy. Uh, next game, I wish we got more time to watch at the Packers game. Like, I love watching the Packers when it snows when at Lambeau. Mm -hmm. Like, I love cold games at Lambeau. Like, cold, frigid, snowy games. Not even frigid, just cold. Though. Cold motherfucking games. Yeah. Right? You got the heaters on the sidelines and shit because... <laughs> the Packers are ready for that shit, and every other team is challenged. So like, take the Dolphins up to the Packers, Lambeau Field, <laughs> when it's fucking negative 12 out with some snow on the ground, and tell me how they're going to play. You know and what I mean? they won. Those, I mean, fuck. In the snow. Put the Raiders <laughs> in a Lambeau, and there's those temperatures. And I mean, that's a, that's a struggle. You know, it doesn't matter who it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Colts, you know, they got the... the the roof and, and shit, everything. but that that is that is like a tough field to play on mm -hmm. any given day. Um, but the Packers end up winning 24-16 uh, of the Panthers. That's so, pretty. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not like pretty close game. With Next, it snowing as bad as it was there when we got yeah, home. I mean, it was it was a good snow, but it, it wasn't really. It kind of, you could see a little accumulation on the ground, but it wasn't enough, you know. Well, I just saw the big flakes and I had to leave. Yeah, so. that sucks, but. Oof. What? You had to leave. Oof. Um, Rams and Steelers. <laughs> the fucking Steelers beat the Rams. What is going on with the Rams this season? They went from, like, super amazing to Oof. mediocre <laughs> in, like, a season. <laughs> but I will say, I believe one of their best receivers, Brandon Cooks, is out. And he's, I remember, you remember watching him? Like, he's just fast and good. Uh, but, damn. Steelers beat them. Next game, Vikings and Cowboys. I mean, actually, the Vikings... It's actually look decent with what I I don't watched. know why I doubt them so much. They're doing really well. I don't doubt them. It's just, I figured... Hold on, did I pick the Vikings? No, you picked the Cowboys. I did? Yeah. Why? I mean, the Vikings have a pretty good record. They're 7-3, and three and Dallas is 5-4. and four. I mean, it was a close matchup if you go by stats but you got to look at the teams they played and everything else and I, tried I probably to gave them a low score and I tried to go by the teams they played and pick but I mean the Dolphins are turning out to be a better team than I think we both anticipated and the Cowboys were supposed to be better than they are and sometimes they show up and sometimes they don't and tonight they they fought I mean it came down to a Hail Mary interception at the end of the game but 
I, I fucking hate the Cowboys. I'm glad they lost, but I picked them to win for our picks. So I, that's that's what chaps my ass. <laughs> 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 um, so tomorrow, uh, <laughs> damn, that feels nice. <laughs> really? I'm just saying, I'm wearing I'm wearing the pants I had to wear to the Second Chance concert last night. They're a little snugger, mm. more snug than my other pants. If I could only get him to wear cowboy boots with them. I don't want to wear fucking cowboy boots. I never had cowboy. Should have been a cowboy. Oh my god. <laughs> Should have been open to win. Hey, I think I'm gonna buy you some of them for Christmas. Mm -mm. No. And it'll make you feel bad so you wear them. Oof. <sighs> like, oh, Jesus. What's she playing? I can't even focus when you're like doing it. It's... Keep going. We'll stop now. <laughs> you done did it. <laughs> Fuck. Seriously, babe? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're off tomorrow. <laughs> Baltimore, so right? this is the game of all the games this week this is the game I really wanted to watch because the 49ers are undefeated and they're playing the Seahawks and I think the Seahawks have the best chance of all the teams the 49ers have played this season of beating them I have very low score on that game yeah I I, I have you too mine's 100%. like a two or a three yeah um I want to see like this kind of gives us a heads up of what the 49ers are made of. And I try to look at the teams they played in the past, and I'm like, I just don't know. I don't know. I think I actually... Did and, I go with the 49ers? Well, here's the thing. I really want to watch the 49ers play, because I want to see why they're undefeated. I mean, the Patriots is one thing. They already lost. Like, yeah. they got that loss out of the season, now they're probably just going to fucking teabag every team they play for the rest of the season. They might have one more loss. Before they teabag everyone in the playoffs. Like I, I, I have a strong feeling the Patriots are going to go far, in the, if not to the Super Bowl once again. Oh, they will. Which sucks, um, but they're really good, really good team. As always, but this season I don't know what the fuck. Forty-two-year-old Tom Brady and the rest of the team is still fucking amazing. It's stupid. It's fucking stupid. Is what it is. But they're good. You can't help but respect the greatness of what they've done. For so many seasons, but the 49ers and Seahawks is the game of the week for us, really. Like, I want to watch that game. I want to see the 49ers play. And actually, I'm, I can't remember seeing a 49ers game when they're good since I think it was Kaepernick's rookie season, the one that doesn't play anymore because mm -hmm. all that bullshit. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But yeah, it's Sunday. I almost done. You have to work tomorrow. We have a 12 ounce bottle. I have a 40. He uh, has to work tomorrow. He has to work tomorrow. I don't. Why are you going to remind me? But apparently, we're having a winter weather advisory. The first winter weather advisory. Do you think you can make chili tomorrow while I'm at work? Yeah, I can. Like, in all honesty, can you, like, put <laughs> this shit together? Yeah. Okay. So Pretty. you can make, like, the noodles and you can stop and get the hamburger and make that. And... Yeah. Because I, I can. forgot to once buy I, hamburger. Once I take the kids to school, uh, let me just run to my hair. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll take care of the chili. Well, Huber was on sale somewhere. I wanted it fresh. Uh, Kro Kroger? Kroger? Maybe in Kroger. Dollar ninety nine a pound. It wasn't night it was a dollar ninety nine. It was like ninety nine cents a pound. I'll look it up. It was like half the price of what we get for a fucking three pound tube at Aldi's. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a dollar ninety nine a pound because that would be the same price as a damn tube. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I want you to make chili tomorrow. Um, I will. So we we have this winter weather advisory tomorrow, and it's gonna rain in the morning, and about noon it's gonna change over to snow. And then the, the low temperatures we have the lowest temperatures we've had since last winter. Dude. Like tomorrow, I think the lowest twelve, and the next day is nine. You can get my windows done. Either. I haven't had a chance. That's pretty important. You look at me like it's pretty important, but give me a, we still gotta get the pool done. We I don't know not either. Oh, I haven't had a chance. I haven't had a chance either. <laughs> Work all the time. I already know, like we're <laughs> we're like we got all this shit to do. Can't get it done. Um Zero minutes to do it. I swear to God though, we'll see how the windows do. If anything, we're gonna buy that big sheet 
for the shit, cut it out, and staple the bitch on the house. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> it hasn't been super cold, but I do think the living room feels cold, warmer. It, it does feel pretty good in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually, like, comfortable in there now. Yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. I turned the heat down earlier because it was, like, 50 some, but I think there's a little chill in the house now. I'm comfortable. Turn back up. Are you actually comfortable? I really am. Oh, comfortable. wow. And I have a chill. I'm like, man, maybe it's just me. But I, I was sweating at work tonight. I wondered if I had a fever again. Oof. Need more cowbell. Why don't you go to Sunking? Not that cowboy. You can do that tomorrow, too. Not that cowboy. Okay, I can if you want to. I'm joking. No, I really would. It's your day off. I really would. I ain't got nothing better to do. Um, actually, uh, while you're pending, like your, uh, we got that uh, Veterans Day program, and that's when the snow's supposed to start. Like, I'm kind of concerned about the whole, not just, like, making it there, but the kids getting home kind of deal, if it's going to be that bad. Know what I mean? I thought about having you pick them up. I'm. We'll discuss that. Yeah. Cause I don't trust some bus drivers. I don't either. <laughs> we got some fucked up bus drivers up here. Yeah, they had like, what? Did, what year was that? Like, was that last year they had a wreck? That was two years ago. So the bus, the bus after school had a wreck, and it wasn't a major wreck, but it was a little ding. They, you know, hit somebody, or but, whatever. But no one calls the parents. Yeah. They, they pulled over, you know, to make a police report with all the kids on the bus. I didn't get even notified. But thank God my kids were old enough to have cell phones because they called and been like, Mom, the bus was in a wreck. Everybody's okay, you know, but we're going to be late getting home. And I called and flipped out at the school. Here's the thing about bus drivers in this area. Like, we're at a different school. We're not IPS here. But one of those IPS buses went to the fucking pawn shop. Like, there's a picture of it. The, the back end of the bus oh. is hanging out the building. <laughs> and here's what happened. No one was injured. The students waited for another bus to come pick them up to take them to school. I'm sorry. They just went to a fucking building. They have to go to school? Yeah. What the fuck? No. Mm. That's stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm all for kids, you know, going to school, like, facing the struggles we face as kids and shit like that. But they just drove through a fucking building. Give them a goddamn break. Let them go home. They're excused absence right for that day. Uh, Are you fucking, that's a traumatic experience. Yeah. They just drove through a fucking building, for Christ's sake. Oh, <laughs> we waited for another bus and we took them to school. School's not that fucking deep. I'm sorry. They just went through a fucking building. <laughs> if I drive through a fucking building, ain't no one going nowhere. I'm going home. Yeah, we're going the fuck <laughs> home. That's some scary shit. I'm sorry. Can you imagine these kids? have to deal with that shit and then go to school i'm like we just went to a building <laughs> what the fuck that is the dumbest fucking <laughs> shit i heard oh another bus came and picked them up and took them to school no 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 our asses would have been there at the scene and like they are not going to school you just drove through <laughs> a fucking building why the fuck are you waiting for a bus to take <laughs> the rest of these kids to school take them to their drive them back home <laughs> I mean, I'm so, I know some parents are at work, but fuck, that's a crazy experience. Like, you yeah. don't just fucking send kids to school after that, you fucking idiots. Ugh. Boy, I woke up and I was in my mood today. Running my mouth. On the drive home. Yeah. Oh. She got I me started all work, and I was like, oh. Oof. Oh. Had an he amazing weekend. But moods. Like, we stayed up late, we drank. It was good. But sometimes when I do that, I wake up and I'm just like, mmm. That's not what I'm like. <laughs> Still rubbing my crotchules. Uh, about my, you said, I wake up and I'm like, mmm. I usually have a pretty good filter, but some mornings I'm just like, the filter's gone. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> At least you can have a filter sometimes, because I have none. I mean, I have my days where I'm just like, not in the mood for this dumb shit. I can't do it. <laughs> Most I, days you're really good, though. Most days I'm really good. I'm pretty, That's why you offset me. I'm pretty level-headed 97.2% of the time. But certain days, I'm just like, Ugh. Are you fucking kidding me right now? And we had a really good drive to and from Angola. Today, someone wants to pass me in the left lane. There's no traffic. There's no traffic. And they want to pull right, like, <laughs> four feet in front of the goddamn car. I'm like... What the fuck is this, you dumb cunt? You can't pull up in there 30 feet. And then get over, you gotta get right in front of me. 
I get nervous, you know? That's, and then don't go fast. Because technically, if you pull in there, I'm technically tailgating you. And I can get pulled over for that, you dumb fuck. <laughs> and you made that happen. <laughs> Rotten hell, you, st you dirty cunt. You're gonna Oof. fucking die in hell. I hope your grandma's sucking the devil's dick. Did you drink your energy drink? I did. I did. It was really nice. I've been smoking outside, too. We took a nap when we got home. Oh, man. I didn't realize I was tired as it was. <laughs> I come home, I was like, I gotta get a 40 for the video tonight. And she's already laying on the couch. Like, we kind of got in a hurry. We got shit to do. She had to be at work. And I'm like, uh, I was going to run to the gas station. Got some energy drinks. And she was, I knew she was going to be out. I didn't even text you. I almost text you. I'm like, man, you're sleeping. I ain't trying to wake you I'm up. I'm super tired. I wasn't trying to text you. Like, God damn it, I'm trying to sleep. I would have heard it. I actually typed it up. I probably would have heard it. I typed it up. And I'm like, no, I can't send it. I knew you'd probably be asleep. <laughs> Get home, put my shit down. Put air drinks in the fridge. I take my big ass across the curve of the couch, and I was like, "Damn!" I, like, I didn't realize I was that tired. Like <laughs> I, I laid, I laid there, I lay there for a few minutes, like maybe I can't sleep, and the next thing I know, I'm like, I knew you were I'm tired. <laughs> I love driving. I do. I love, I love road trips. But damn it, like, wears me down. Yeah. Well, especially when we have to drive and then turn around and drive back. <laughs> like I told you that, I mean, it would have been better if we had two nights. This, the, like, uh, tonight to, you know, chill? To well, no, like, if we would have stayed two nights. Yeah, like, tonight we would have stayed there when our second Well, night. like, Friday and Saturday. I mean, like, so, but, but tonight, yeah, either tonight way. we stayed, just sit and yeah. chill. Hang out in the hotel room. Because, I mean, we didn't get, like, when, any time to... Because today we could have woke up whenever. Yeah. When we got the coffee we wanted, just sit and chill. There wasn't much to do up there. But it didn't matter. Just yeah. be out of town. Be away from you home. You sat and watched Independence Day? No, I watched yeah. Talladega Nights. Talladega so Nights. When we got there, I see you in the shower. I was like, I'm going to put the TV on for some on. I ain't about to look at the fucking channel. I found the best thing was on was Talladega Nights. And they actually played it twice that night because... I'm watching it twice because I watched it before we went to the concert and we got back. It was still on. No, it was on again. It was on again. I'm like, hey, you can't you can't argue with Talladega Nights. If you ain't first, you're last. I'm always first, though. <clears throat> Absolutely, and I always hope you feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> but got some pictures. Miss McStone wanted these pictures with the people that opened up. I was like, she got them. I did. No one we didn't get a picture with was Second Chance because it was like a meet and greet. I didn't realize they did the meet and greet afterwards. When we did the meet and greet with the Dickie. Yeah, it was before. It was before, so. Yeah. The Second Chance concert was cool. There was like 40 people there. Which I don't understand because he's like really superstar status. I would. Country wise. I would go back. You know what I mean? Like he's so yeah. good and his music's so good. Mm -hmm. And 40 people showed up to this little, it looks like some place you have your wedding reception at. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> and there was 40 people there and like, we're like, we, just, like, we sat back in the back just by ourselves. And it was like, we, we're waiting for people to flood in. No one's ever flooded in. No one ever did. Yeah. And then we're like, fuck it, we're going to have to go to the stage. And we just kind of curved around. And a little old dude might get the shit knocked out of him. Like I started watching the dude in front of him was like, I was like, oh. And you told me, like, later, but I was like, I've been watching it for a while. I was like, this dude's going to get knocked the fuck out. Dude, that young dude turned around and said something. I don't even know what the fuck happened. Like... I don't even know what the fuck happened, but I knew he wasn't happy. Mm -mm. But, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, for $15 a ticket to be that close with 40 people in that venue. Like, I love those small venues when people, like, and he's, like, got to be bigger than Dickie. Yeah. But he's not. It didn't seem like. It's crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, and like the, the the level of talent is nuts. Anyways, happy Mulligan Sunday Night Football. The suck ass week of football. Oh, the worst. The second of, one in a row. The worst week of the season for our kids. <laughs> really, <coughs> really is. Um, I went from first place to like Jesus Christ can I get two points this week. Fuck <laughs> 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 me in the ass. So, tomorrow's Monday Night Football. You're off. I am. And we can probably do the video before the game starts. Yeah. And you're doing chili? 
I'm making chili. I really want chili. I can do chili. You get some hamburger. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, sounds good. And it's gonna be cold and snowy, mm -hmm. so I can get all that shit done. Now, I, I, my main concern is make sure everyone's at home when they need to be home. Yeah. For the weather. So, I mean, if you want to get the kids, I'll get the kids, cause. I'll leave that to you. That's some dumb shit. Cause it's gonna be like 12 degrees tomorrow. And what concerns me is it's gonna rain and snow, and it's gonna freeze at yeah. that degrees. And I don't care. The ground's gonna freeze. Yeah. At that temperature, so. I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. And we'll catch you bitches tomorrow. Deuces.